All right, so today I'm going to actually go over a uh, quite basic understanding of using wireless networks on virtual machines. Uh, it's actually quite simple. I've actually been, I, I even I admit myself to uh, not be able to um, use wireless networks properly on virtual machines. Well, normally because I'm starting to get into backtrack uh, Linux and do like injecting packets and all sorts of non non fun stuff and Anyway, uh, I haven't been able to get it work on a uh, backtrack, but uh, I have been able to get it on a uh, bunch. So now, how do you want to enable the wireless to for your virtual machine to be able to enable your wireless uh, capabilities? Especially if you have it on a desktop and you have like a, a wireless USB. Well, first you want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and go to settings. Go to USB and just plug it in so the Windows machine can recognize the the wireless USB card so we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug it in I already had to set it up anyway so you're just gonna go ahead and add a filter to it and uh, since it's already there so I just have a very basic uh, very basic wireless adapter to it so let me see is it detected see okay so this wouldn't work if uh, if let's say for example I did not have it on there and I decided to like remove it and this is in use it's not gonna work you gotta provide that filter to it but since I already did let me just go ahead and erase it to show you exactly how to do it let me just go ahead and remove it okay so now it's removed and we're gonna just simply go ahead hit this one and uh, hit OK so we're just unplug it there you go so it's unplugged now and we're gonna go ahead and start up the Ubuntu system and uh, as soon as it starts up, we're going to go ahead and plug it in because it's going to bypass the host machine and go straight through the virtual machine. So. Yeah. Okay, see? No more wireless networks. It went straight through to the virtual machine. And uh, I'll be back while this is booting up. Give me one second. Alright, so it's back. We're going to go ahead and uh, log in. And uh, I have disabled the wireless, uh, the, the, um, hang on. I actually disabled the, the regular hard line, um, USB. So see, here you go. Now it's detecting wireless networks. And it was just as simple as that. I mean, I've been trying to figure out how to do wireless networks for a while on virtual machines. But this is a neat way of doing that. Some neat stuff. It's specifically with the uh, backtrack. Uh, backtrack is all about wireless. So, so there you go. All types of, here's my, uh hotspot and other other wire network so there you go so that's basically how to do it this will actually work with uh, regular USBs like if you don't want to do shared ones so let me I'll go ahead and plug it so there you go that's disconnected um, we're gonna go ahead and do a wireless uh, regular USB let's say you want to get a file on your virtual machine but the problem is it's already see this little thing down here it's already detected by the USB uh, it's already detected by the host machine, so it won't allow you to uh, to um, bypass it into the virtual machine. So we're gonna go ahead and do another. Uh, go ahead, I don't know. This this is it right here. We're gonna go ahead. Okay, but since it's being detected by this uh, by the host machine, we gotta go ahead and and pull it out. So there it is. So since the machine's already up and running, it should be able to go straight through. Hang on. There. So there you go, installing device. Even it's gonna install the generic driver for the virtual machine to bypass it. And uh I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see. I don't know what you're doing. Uh I gotta work on these virtual machines. They're they're not in the best condition. So it's gonna take a while to install. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Alright, so it says virtual USB software install. So it's already in, and there it is. I called this repair, and it has all this good stuff. So now you don't have to create all these fancy sharing files, but because before I actually go to YouTube and try to figure out how to bypass it, and I did not find a proper answer to my uh, question. And now it's just as easy as that. It's like it was so simple and not so obvious, I guess, that uh, people kept thinking that it was a uh, some sort of bug in the virtual machine in the Oracle's VM VirtualBox software, but it isn't. So hopefully this helps some people out, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some decent uh, Backtrack Linux uh, how-tos in uh, the future. So thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy.